All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, some differences in height and reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, he's loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Olympia, Washington, presenting the challenger, the Giant. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 236 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the great UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. strikers here we sat down with them on thursday and asked them any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground they want to strike team. they want to strike that's what got them to the show that is the path that they are normally on and tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone they don't have to worry about the fitting takedowns all they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory well really using his reach advantage there with that punch dc Whiffs on the right hand. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Ball 
perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he landed the right hand there. He got this turtle on that kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Superman punch lands! Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits his double leg. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. And he's back up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there, as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and they separate. Connects with the right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Good punch. And both guys really throwing with a throw. Nice defense there, huge block. Got the single collar tie. Lands flush with that right hand. Misses with the right hand. on the straight right hand. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter. Lisa. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time he lands. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling should really be entertaining. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. He's a tech armbar now. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him on that armbar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Down into his mouth. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happened when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did. And they both found success over the course of that round. And more head movement.
Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the break as we go into the second round. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He missed with that jab attempt there. Ooh, big shot land. Right on the button. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Huge Superman punch. Spinning back fist. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Big punch land. Ooh. Bell head kick. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. Now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Right side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And he continues to work the body here. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Now he touches him with the left. Flush right hand is true. Just out of range with that left hook. What a punch. And they separate. The overhand left is true. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at both defense in his opponent. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. All right, just a little collar tie now. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, He's also keeping very busy. Man, the body work really starting to take its what made the rest of it. That was an amazing takedown. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Misses with that punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Back and forth we go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at the angle of that nice body. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Lands to the body there. Right punch 
finishes there. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the recap. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the score. This is what happens in two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going to the next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. That's a big strike right there. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, collar tie. Lands with the right hand. Yet again, they will clinch here. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, it always brings his hand right back to his face. He's got to be careful dipping his head when throwing that jab. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Big straight left. Right hand upstairs. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. His head still attached to his back. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overy versus Ngannou. And you know we still have a long out of over his head. Nice punch there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to rape double that takedown attempt here. And that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from this opposition? tie here and they separate can't take many of those you better check throws a big right hand but doesn't find its home wow all right he'll engage in a single collar tie Got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right hand punch the clinch. All right, the fighters are fighting out the clinch here, and now we go to the ground. Beautiful trip there to get the takedown. Sweep the leg, Johnny! Oh, John. One guy's always paying attention. The other guy's going to take the point. Take a point like they did to your boy, Johnny, and you lose the All-Valley Championship for disrespecting a guy like that with that sweep. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. That one appeared to stun him. Gets up again here, but hurt. Upper cut lands for him. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Beautiful one. Ooh. Punches one. Throwing that jab, no good.
the weight difference, I don't know if you know you did too much. You missed a lot of your class. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Eddie. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Closed guard. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Straight right. He misses. Single collar tie there. And what a round! All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be... Good night, Irene. You have the power to put this guy down. You show that. Nobody's knocked him down like that before. Now this round, we want to pull All right, so next round underway here, and you got to mm -hmm. admire the stamina that both Ready? of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Good stick. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Try to establish that jab. Single collar tie now. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Defensively blocks the shot. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Great punch. Nice head kick. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Pretty good right hand. Fantastic kick now. Back to the single. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Lands a big elbow. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Kick lands for him there. Able to check the high kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh, straight right. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landed over and over. You come up, you go down. Another takedown land. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. All right, close guard now. 
Gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Great punch lands with so much power. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy, he's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut, make him pay for it. Nice head kick. Oh, Superman punch, not always easy. Look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Gets up again here, but hurt. Nice punch, man. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. And that left hook landed on the button. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, oh, oh! Entertaining scrap so far. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not gonna trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, oh! Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, he hurt him! Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent oh. very bad. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, big left hook there. as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight.
Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 16 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the great So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career. Knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain.